everybody. We back at it again. Back at it again. We at Brandywine Target right now. How y'all doing today? It's, been, it's a nice ass day today. But um, we going to Brandywine Target. I'm gonna see if they got. I'm on the hunt for. I don't know what's been hitting me, but I've been trying to get them them WWE elites. I only mess with like Attitude Era and you know Ruthless Aggression stuff. So they got that new Edge out. And I seen there's an exclusive ringside collectibles like Undertaker, where he had he was the biker Undertaker, which is my favorite version. But um, we're gonna see what they got here. Right, everybody, we're gonna start over here in the Marvel Legends section. They still got these Eternals up here. Mm. They still got these Eternals. We got America Chavez, another America Chavez. Uh, more Eternals, more Eternals, more Eternals. <laughs> hey, it's the Joker. Uh, Mobius. Eternals, Eternals. Hey, I thought also I thought all these were gone though. Or well, clearance or something. I don't know. Um, hmm. GI Joe. Let's look, we got some reaction Joe's. It's really quiet in this target. Matter of fact, I don't know why. Anyway, just gung ho. Pink SPD Ranger. SPD was one of my favorite Power Ranger joints. Oh, the Zeo, Zeo Yellow Ranger. I love the SPD. A lot of people don't like it, but I like it. Uh, bad girl from Three Jokers. We got the Fat Man Bruce Wayne. We got Three Jokers. Bat. This Batman is huge. Like, I, I like I like the design. Don't get me wrong. This guy is too damn tall. Like, it's like he's taller than Superman. Um, another one. We got a hazmat suit Batman. Just a bunch of armored Batman hazmat suit. Another Superman. And we got a joker from the dark knight and we got the repackaged two pack and there's a titan joker right there titan joker another repackaged two pack but uh let's see what's going on, on the other side damn they got no wwe elites i must have just missed it or something good everything's gone who the hell is this who was this scrub Ooh. reckoning Nigga, Nia Jax, she don't work for the company no more. Damn, why they do that to Nia Jax? That, that do not look like Nia Jax. Not at all. Uh, AEW, Santana Ortiz. I just be seeing it. Santana Ortiz all the damn time. Where's this? Cash Wheeler, one half of FTR. And Black Series, which has got a carbonized trooper. And there's a Mobius over here. And... John Hammond from Jurassic Park. I don't know why he's okay. We got a Triclops. We got a He-Man. He... No new... I think Fisto is the only new one. I don't know much about Master Universe, but yeah. I don't know. This is what they got. Monsters at work. I don't know. We'll see what they got over The NECA land. I can't even get to the NECA section. Look, look at all this. Look at all this. I can't even get to the next. I mean, all right, I'm gonna try. I mean, they got Gundam kits. The Gundam kits here. SH Figure Arts, Goku and Goku Black. We got Endeavor. Seven Deadly Sins, Stain. Some more Gundams. What was it? The Witcher. Madam Web. Oh, cool. I don't know who that is. Scarlet Witch Pen, Jerry Lawler, Angelo Dawkins, got Oscar right here, and a bunch of these ego figs, or whatever you want to call them. Bunch of Godzilla stuff, Billy Eilish. No, let me get over here, past this. We're gonna have the Bat Cave right here. There's that sideboard, Big Gorilla Boy, Star Trek. <laughs> Hobgoblin exclusive. Rafael Nadal. I don't know who that is, but he plays tennis. Unmasked Peacemaker and a bunch of these Batman 66 figures. Just the Riddler, Joker, the Riddler. Batman with the trunks. We got, oh yeah, Gunslinger Spawn. And Raven Spawn. We got a Phoenix Shan, Luke Skywalker. And there's a Boba Fett 2-pack. Black Buster Soldier. I can't even, I can't even get all the way, all the way over here. Got a Selena Kyle. Oh, they got Captain Crunch. I love me some Captain Crunch. I'm gonna give me some Captain Crunch. We got an Encanto. 
figure. Abuela. And we got TLC, all three members of TLC. Now we're at Nigga. All right, Halloween Kills, Michael Myers, Predator, the Thing figure, Mothman, Aliens, more Turtles. Same old, same old. But all right, it's gonna be a all right, y'all. So we're at Target in St. Charles. I just forgot it's 420. So happy 420 to all y'all who celebrate. Now I'm not celebrating. I don't, I don't like the smell. But yeah, y'all to teach zone. You know, if y'all like that, I'm not gonna knock you. But um, yeah, we will come in here. I just noticed I'm wearing red and go out to go to Target. I wonder if anybody gonna stop me. Hey, you work here? And that's happened to me like three, four times. Every time I wear red in Target, I hate doing it. I hate doing it. It's like, do you see a badge that say Target? No. All right, so we're over here in the WWE Elite section. Looks like they got the new wave. They got the mean Mark Calloway, the Road Dog, China, more than Bone Mark. I don't see not no, not one damn edge. And they just got the rest of the rock. I thought the rock probably be hard to find. Damn it, I found him like five, six times now. Let's see, we got we got a wrecker. Another record. I remember we couldn't find no damn records. Now they everywhere. Lando, Carbonized Trooper. Oh, they got Archive Wave, Obi Wan, and Princess Leia. <clears throat> they don't got the King Grace Gold, uh, Revelations, the Skull Skeleton God, Skeleton God up there. But damn, I heard some of the Target employees been getting to them. Like, where is the edge? Everybody's here but Edge. Not even the regular one. I don't even want the chase. And at this point, I can't even find the regular damn Edge with the white pants. Damn. I'm going to the other side. So here's what they got in Nickelodeon. Oh, I've never seen this before. They got a Ripley. Kind of looks like some Journey Weaver, I guess. I don't know. Got, I was about to see Mr. Miyagi. Daniel LaRusso. Bill and Ted. <clears throat> Puppet Master. I feel like I heard that before. Here we got the classic monster figures. We got Frankenstein in color. Is this color? Look like it's in color, but then you got the black and white wolf man. Predator. Ash. Yeah, Ash, you dead thing. Oh, we got Dem Chick from Gargoyles. I forgot her name. Here we go. That's new. Bob Ross. And this wing nut and screw loose two pack. And over here, we got the Batarang right here from Batman Beyond. What the hell? Y'all see this shit? I know that ain't who I think it is. What the hell? Bruh, right, in, in the naked section, though. In, in the naked section, man, look open. These fools nasty out here. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, we gotta look, look, look at this, y'all. We got a platinum variant of Batgirl from Gotham Knights. It's so rare. Look at the detail. Look at the paint. My goodness, this is going to be cost us a fortune. Thanks, Toddy Mac. Yeah, get out of my face. I'm sorry. Why? Why did he do this? Why? Why? Did, I, I just can't stand unpainted figs. Like anyway, Batcave right here. Pops, man, Pops, Magic Johnson, Spire, Exclusive Bruce Wayne, Fruit Loops, Captain Crunch, see Captain Crunch again today. Make me want some Captain Crunch. Uh, nothing really going on here. Squid Games, some more Madam Web. These Madam Webs are everywhere, actually. And um, we got a Gunslinger spawn. We got some Earth Kit Catwoman. And some more 66 figures, Riddler and Batman. That's gonna be it for this side. That's the next side right here. But oh, we got a Zuko. Prince Zuko, I didn't see him before. But you gotta you, you get your act together. You need to get your act together. All right, so here we have for Transformers. We got Sweet, Megatron, Beast. Nothing else really going on here. We got a Blur. We got the repackage two pack. Dark Knight Returns. We got a big old pile of goop. Clayface, another Clayface. There's the Titan Joker back here. There's a blood sport right here. I don't know why. If they had to unmask, maybe I'd get it for like custom or something. But got a Lex Luthor with the power suit. Another Titan Joker. 
another repackaged two pack. We got a Flash from the animated series. We got a three Jokers Batman. Batman Earth 2, The Drown. We got his Rebirth Superman. They got a bunch of shit here. If you wanted to start. Of course, I'm dropping the legs on the floor. Anyway, what else we got here? We got a Pazman Suit Batman. Dark Knight Returns Batman with build a figure piece, Joker. And we got the Speed Force Flash, Ezra Miller. Somebody get that, that, uh, that guy some help, that person some help, because uh, Ezra Miller been acting real, he been, he been acting real wild. Excuse me, not he, they. Um, here's a hazmat suit, Batman, it's the gold label. Let me put this book, I got a book in my hand. Gold label, hazmat suit. And Shazam King. Um, oh, this is nothing. Look at that Rebirth Superman hide no game. Look at hide no game. Got a Zeo Yellow Ranger. G.I. Joe's just from the movie and Gung Ho. Movie figures, Gung Ho. Pink Ranger, we got a Batgirl. Just look, look how many Gung Ho's they got. Look, don't nobody want no damn Gung Ho. Don't, don't nobody want this Gung Ho, especially after it's been out for months. This gun hole has been out for for a minute, and they repackaged it. And there's a there's another gun hole coming out. So why would anyone even get anything? We got a Marvel Legends just same old Eternals. There, there's absolutely no Legends here, just just Eternals. And then we got one Batman right here for some reason. Nothing really down here. There's a Speed Force Flash. I was hoping it was something good down here. Sometimes you'd be hiding stuff down here. Uh, anyway. That's gonna be it for this one. All right, so I'm just leaving Target of St. Charles. <clears throat> Ooh, as you saw, they ain't really had nothing. I think it's something up with that Edge figure. I don't know what it is. I think Target employees and scalpers are coming after that Edge figure, even the regular one, because I've been like three Targets. I see at least four to five um, boxes of the other people in the wave, you know, Road Dog, the Mark Calloway, and the China, but I don't see no damn Edge. And it's like, I know they ain't packaging one per case. I know, no, no. So somebody, they say snatching up these edge figures or something. I might just have to order mine or something. Cause this, this, this shit is big. Oh yeah, they got Target popcorn. I got the Target popcorn. If you don't know about the Target popcorn, you better ask somebody, huh? Hmm. Good as hell. All right, that's probably gonna be the end of the hunt. Peace you guys. All right, so we in the elite section and hey, here you go. Do they have it? Fingers crossed, do they have it? Damn it, they don't got the red one. I guess it's better than nothing, huh? Thank you. I wish I want the. the yeah, y'all can't tell me the red version looks way better than, than this. I don't know why they ain't just make the white a chase, even though the red looks better. But what else we got here? Road Dog, you know the rest of the Wave China. Mark Calloway. We got the Undertaker. I like the bandana, but I do not want the figure. Undertaker, Bianca Belair, Oscar, Ray Mysterio, and Drew McIntyre. We got that brand new rock I picked up a few days ago. Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole, baby. That should be on clearance, bro, bro. But um, we got this end cap right here. Nobody really. Just Jake the Snake. The Fiend, what the version of the Fiend is that? Another Drew McIntyre. Let me see, maybe they got one hot. Nope. Another one hot? No. Black Series time. We got the Archive Wave. Come oh, on, they got the Fresh Case. Obi-Wan, Princess Leia. And then we got the Darth Revan. So I guess somebody just took the two troopers and went about their merry way. And we got a bunch of these carbonized stone troopers. Coming up here, we got Or Singh and Lando. Let's see. Revelation series. I don't see any, any King Grayskull figures. I know everybody's looking for the King Grayskull. We got Andrea. And then Scarecrow and Skellige. Then same old, same old for the rest of the figs. Oh, this is that new Buzz Lightyear stuff. Yeah, this is the new Buzz Lightyear stuff. I think they got some for the new movie. But yeah. Finally, finally found at least one edge. I, I want the variant one. I want the variant one, ideally. I mean, who doesn't? The red just looks better with the whole aesthetic. But I mean, I couldn't even find not near one of these things before. before I turn around, I see they got a bunch of 
Lance Archer's over here, just randomly. I got a bunch of them in, in the Halo section. We got the Halo figures right here. We got an Apex Mirage. Bamboozles with Boozles and Caustic. And we got Apex. I was about to say Apex. League of Legends. That's Apex. Let's see. Roblox. Roblox. That's pretty much it. Let me go to that NECA section. We're on the Funko Pop. Gundam Land. NECA's Land. Whatever you want to call it. Back wall. Yeah, look at this Gundam. Look cool. I don't build kits or nothing, but it just look cool. We got a Son Goku. Some Harry Potter stuff up here. Ron Weasley. And we got Naruto Uzumaki. We got Itachi. Legend of Kabata Makana. I don't know. I don't, McFarlane just be putting, getting licenses, just putting it out. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the hell this is. Maybe some of y'all know, but I don't want to find it. We got Evil Lin, Tarkicon exclusive pop with the shirt. We got a Miro up there. And then we got the Batman with the swim trunks. Super Vegeta, Sanji up there. Seven Deadly Sins, boy with that 10 pack. Excuse me, 20. We got the Scarlet Witch little comic. It's, see, I regret not getting the Monica Rambo. I regret not getting it because I want it now and I can't find it. And they got the Vision over here. I never seen this before. They got the Vision. Why well, every time I'm recording over here, they like to play the music. Let, let me cut. Anyway, like I was saying, well, it's really interrupted by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. We got a Gunslinger spawn, the Redeemer. Riddler with the boxing. Yeah, boxing. What episode was that? I don't know what episode that is from, but this is the first time seeing this. This is new. Usually I just see the regular Riddler. Like that one. Yeah, I want to see this one. But I didn't know they had a boxing one. Uh, Black Widow. We got a Boba Fett and Fennec Shan. We got a Lissandra. I don't know. From Simpsons. That Cave. Decker. Bliss, Boba Fett. And we got a Magic Johnson. Oh, here's the Monica Rambo. Oh, bro. I'm getting this now. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Got a Proud Family. They got another one here. I'm about to check and see which one's better. What is it? Captain Hook. Uh, down here. Got the Davis He Man on Battle Cat. Grogu, right there. And we got a, a Duela. Mencanto, Morpheus. Chirp cereal there for kids. Yeah, cuz from Yu-Gi-Oh! I forgot his name. Yami. Uh, more Yu-Gi-Oh! Coming over here to NECA. King Kong. She spawned. Another King Kong. Halloween kills Michael Myers. Slash and Leatherhead. Napoleon and Attila. Got a bunch of them back there, actually. We got a... Demogora. Gargoyles. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. So yeah, I'm about to get this Monica Rambo on this edge. What would other Monica Rambo? Yeah, Captain Marvel. Let's get it. So they got a big ass clearance section here, actually. We got a, the He-Man Battle Cat is on clearance. What else they got over here? Eternals, Athena over here. Some puzzles. They got the Dr. Ellie from the uh, Jurassic Park movie. Hold on, let me put this. I got, I got stuff in my hands. Hold on. DX Triple H clearance. I wonder if I should get him. Nah, nah, not that Triple H. We got Undertaker Ultimate. Nah, I don't need it. I'm trying to see what the hell is all back there. Oh, they got the Roman on clearance. Got the Roman on clearance. Head of the table right there. Let's see what else. Just the same old, that same wave with Jake the Snake and Triple H. That's all it is. All right, so coming up here to the Marvel Legends, all they got is just that one hammerhead right there. Then we got just more Eternals, Doctor Strange, Wave Wong, I think it's Master Mordo, and then we got America Chavez right there. Coming on down, we got some vintage, you know, Hulk, Carol Danvers right there. We got a Human Torch coming on over here. G.I. Joe from the movie, just bearing this. Reaction G.I. Joe's. Just more reaction. This gracious, it's overpriced ass figures. Get them back on the pegs. <laughs> anyway, of course, we got the Titans up there. Coming over here. Power Rangers, Pink Ranger from space. And then we got the yellow Zeo Ranger back there. 
more movie Joe figures from the Snake Eyes movie, Kiko and Baroness. Then we got this Mighty Morphin Eye Guy. It's a Snake Eyes uh, model kit right there. And coming over here, we got a armored Batman to the McFarland section. Just a bunch of gold label hazmat suits. Just one. Got about four up here. And there's a regular one back there. So it's four, four gold labels and regular. And that's that's a, that's worth a gold label. The paint apps and light up feature. That's a gold label or platinum. Not an unpainted figure, but we can come over here. We got uh, Karen Kelly. Rob, I think it's my first time seeing the Karen Kelly clown Joker. Superboy Prime, got the big ass clay face right there. Just look at him right there. Look at him. Oh, Toddy Mac. Anyway, unmasked Batman. Well, Bruce Wayne, excuse me. Got a three Jokers. Batgirl, regular hazmat suit. This is regular right there. Coming over here with Transformers, we got a sweep. There's a bunch of sweeps. Another Riddler right there for whatever reason. Got these gold Megatron reaction figures. I don't know if these are about anything i know i don't know that much about transformers uh coming down here oh there's a batmo beast oh oh damn i didn't even see how many they got they got two of these joints here oh it's my first time seeing a batmo beast yeah it's gonna stay right there too i don't want that shit batmo beast <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be it wow this thing is huge actually never seen it in person jesus gracious look at my hand this thing big isn't this like 80 dollars and it don't even light up or nothing. Wow. Let me go see how much this thing is. This Batman beast. Hold on, let me check out position it. Oh. This joint is $78.99. Wow. And it don't light up. It don't come with nothing other than a good old train card. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is definitely staying on the shelves. Definitely. All right, everybody. So I just left Target. Ooh, it's been a long day. But uh, as you saw, only two things I picked up was the Monica Rambo Target exclusive comic Funko Pop cover. But yeah, I had to get the Monica Rambo. You know, one of the best, the best iteration of Captain Marvel. And because she's a black female superhero, because there's not many of us. Um, yeah. But like I've said, like I said, hold on, let me bring this back. I passed on this one like twice, I think. Then I just, I, I, I couldn't see it again when I finally wanted it. And then I was like, you know what? Let me pick it up next time I get it. So got it now. Definitely not taking this out the box at all, at all. Um, and then of course we got the Legends Elite Edge. Finally, after like, I don't know how many times going to like different targets and crap, but it's like, I want the red version. But if I, if I can't find it, cause I ain't find, I didn't find any of them. It wasn't like I was finding the regular ones. I wasn't finding the regular ones either. So, I mean, I'm gonna get this for now. I'm gonna probably keep it in the packaging for a couple days. I got one of my friends, um, he works at a Target, to see if he come across or anything. And then I'll give it a few weeks. If not, I just I just give up on it. But uh, I also pre-ordered, not pre-order, I have the, I don't know if you guys seen it, the Rings uh, Ringside Collectibles exclusive Undertaker, the biker Undertaker that comes with the WCW title from SummerSlam 2001, I believe it is. Yeah, I had to pick that one up because that's my favorite version of Undertaker. At least when I was growing up, I feel like everybody's favorite version of Undertaker is whenever they were younger, whenever they watched him the most. Some people really like the one with the purple gloves from the 90s. Some people really like just the dead man persona. And then people like me who grew up in that whole late 90s, 2000s era and was watching him on the motorcycle. That's how I know him. I know him as the American badass. But I appreciate everybody for watching. Oh yeah, y'all saw I found the Batmobile Beast. <laughs> that Tonka toy. I'm not buying that Tonka toy. I mean, it's it's cool and everything. Nice to see he making vehicles, but um, for eighty dollars, nah. It don't light up. It don't make sounds or nothing. Maybe feels like fifty or something. I mean, I wouldn't personally get it, but I don't see why it's eighty dollars. But y'all can have the Tonka toy. But anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, probably gonna be the end of this hunt and everything. So uh, yeah, so we're like, back at home finally, and now we can get into the whole portion of the video the stuff i basically got from this part of the hunt and then like you know the last video i got a lot of stuff pretty much mainly just all elite so this is going to be just like a wwe elite haul so you know the last clip you know you saw me picked up the rock right here however this week you know y'all saw me pick up hold on let me, let me get it off the floor real quick saw me pick up the 
WWE Elite's Chase variant of Edge. Yes, sir. It is that you see the red. Yes, yes. We don't like the. See, I bought the one with the white pants because, like, like I was saying, this figure. I don't know what I, it was being the pan they asked to find for. Just even the regular version. I, I was like, so if I didn't buy the the white version, the one with the white pants, standard one, right? And I had waited, I probably would have not found this one, but not found Edge at all, because I wasn't finding them at all. So I was like, shit. I was, I was like, let me buy it. I returned it. So I returned it. And uh, what else did I pick up? You know, I picked up the Funko Pop comic little variant, or the Target exclusive one of Monica Rambo, Captain Marvel, AKA Captain Marvel, Mar Monica Rambo. Now they call refer to her as Photon now, since Carol Danvers is like the main Captain Marvel now anyway. But I mean, I'm more of a DC person, but I didn't even know that she was like the second Captain Marvel. You know, of course it's Marvel, the man. And, um, they, she was the second Captain Marvel. She was actually, I think, Captain Marvel for the longest time. And she was the first Captain Marvel to be like the Avengers, I believe. She was on Avengers for a long time in like the 80s, 70s and 80s. But yeah, though, yeah, don't, don't, the MCU will have you fooled to think Carol Danvers has been Captain Marvel the whole time. For real, for she was, she was, uh, Miss Marvel. And nobody really, like, liked her like that. Like, she wasn't really a popular character, so that's why they made her Captain Marvel. But anyway, I digress. Um, we also picked up some things when I went to Tashi Station. So before, so I found the Edge at the Springfield. So Tashi Station's in Springfield. I also picked up this Elite 2-pack of, I was about to say Edge, Triple H and Jeff Hardy right here, man. Did this throwback, the SmackDown old, look at the old school SmackDown logo. You got like 99, 2000 Triple H, and you got the Jeff Hardy right here with the mesh shirt, and then he has the uh, Jeff, the Hardy Boys, uh, you know, the Hardy Boys jersey and everything. I don't know where it, or if I will ever find a Matt Hardy figure, but anyway, it's still a, still a must have, even though I still have the, I already have the uh, Elite, the Ultimate Triple H from that area, so, so I'm good. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that extra Triple H, but I also picked up was the ringside exclusive undertaker right here the ringside exclusive biker undertaker this is from SummerSlam, SummerSlam 2001 him and kane it was during that whole invasion arc when you know all the wcw ec ecw guys was coming on so basically this has this gimmick was that this rubber they made the singlet rubber and you can like take the straps down like kurt angle almost but uh yeah as you can see it does not look good he looked like he's here and, and oversized uh crop top so yeah we're gonna take that shit off from right now this is my favorite version of undertaker right now this, this is my favorite version of undertaker the biker undertaker is the one i grew up with i'm finding that everybody's version of undertaker is their favorite is whatever one they grew up with the dead man with the purple gloves ministry of darkness whatever this was the one i like and i don't know why they use this picture on the box because that is definitely like solo run like undertaker like they, when he came back as dead man like 2000s run like like 2005 through like 2010s doesn't this is not the biker taken because he has the eye but i don't know but anyway i'm not gonna do a full review this figure has its faults like i said this little mechanism does not look good unless the straps are down and then the beanie is so big on his head that the glasses kind of don't fit and everything but you see how the beanie and the glasses is right there and it has supposed to have dead man ink on the on the beanie but whatever i'm just glad i got it because these uh these undertaker figures are gonna be really really hard to find and I think it's going to be this technically the first one that you can have like the tattoo. So all, mostly all of the Undertakers have to single it up. So anyway, we'll see. I'm going to cut this portion of the video. It's going to be the end of the, at least my portion. I'm going to try to rearrange the collection, have them all looking nice for y'all. All right, so I'm done rearranging. And here we got the new display right here. My new, I guess, WWE shelf. And here we got that Elite Rock right here. I gave him the WWE title. The w, excuse me, the WWF title uh, that came with that Ultimate Triple H and I gave him that Intercontinental belt that came with the two pack. Up here you see we got Jeff Hardy up on the ladder. Edge back there up on that, I forgot what that thing was called, it's like a case or something, a chest. And here we got the American Badass Undertaker right there. And we got the Ultimate Stone Cold. And way in the back, we got the bad guys, we got N.W. Bull, Hall, Nash, and what well, that Scott Hall, I don't know why I forgot about it. Right there sitting in the back. 
if you're wondering where the accessories came from these are actually from like old like the table the chairs they're on and that ladder and there's these those are like old like uh weapons from like the jack specific era like of wwe toys so because like, i still got a lot of that stuff but coming down here what changed is i moved the joes down here now so all the joes are on the last shelf I had to condense I basically had to condense everything coming over here. I moved all my DC Multiverse over here. And here is that new Martian Manhunter I got. I forgot I never put him in the last video that I picked him up. He came in the mail. I ordered him from Amazon. So we got, you know, How Jordan, Flash, Jon Stewart, Three Jokers, uh, Batgirl, and Nightwing, right? Not with Nightwing. Well, Nightwing is right here, but Red Hood. We got the Rebirth Superman in the front, DC Essentials Aquaman. Batman and Robin. Then we got the Weeds that do over here, everybody. Yeah, so there we go. Tell me what y'all think of the displays and the setups and everything. I'm gonna come back over here. The Joe's kind of getting crowded in here. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get rid of some of these guys. I don't need all of them. And then I, th I think this looks cool as hell to me. Then we got the rock right here. Just anyway. Appreciate everybody for watching. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and See you the next one.